What's up? What's up? What's up? Back again with some huge news. Have you guys been looking at this market cap? Wow, 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 wow. 202? Look at Bitcoin. It's almost at 6,800. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So let's just take a little, little look at Bitcoin here. Charts. Now look at this. We're going to go about a month out. 52. And then... I don't know what happened here. Um, but... Went up and then went back down it looks like. It looks like it topped out at about 7,000. Oh my goodness. What in the world is going on today, guys? I don't know. This is getting pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Let's take a look at some of the charts. Wow. I don't even know what to say or what, what to look at, man. Ethereum, they're up 2%. I think they're long overdue for a blow up. You got XRP, 1%, back 30 cents. Bcash, Bcash. We're hovering around $300, $295, up 1.75%. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin. They're hovering about 80 bucks. Look at this, EOS. EOS may still be in range for me. Ah, oh, Stellar. Nine cents. Cardano. Six. Now, number nine, number ten. These two have some pretty, pretty big potential. Let's just say that. Based off the market caps, Monero, 70 bucks. I remember the days Monero was, what, 50 cents? Man, can't believe this is reality. Let's see, what else do we got? Crypto chain, they're down a little bit, but who cares? Not a big deal, not a big deal. Raven, oh, there's that engine coin again. That basic attention token is 10% today. Mm, Nim, check Nim out. Nim's at 5 cents. I wonder what the low on Nim was. Probably should have got some Nim. 3 cents. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's still not too bad. Whoa. So, right now. NIM is approximately five cents, and if you look back, it'd be high on NIM. <laughs> Not financial advice, of course, but you know it's just my personal opinion. Two dollars and nine cents. Oh my goodness! What made NIM so special to do that? Yikes! So you have that. Now let's check out some news for today. It is five ten, five eleven, twenty nineteen. So let's check it out. You got on Coin Telegraph, Bitcoin surges above 6,300, hits dominance records from December 17. Yeah, definitely did. Let's see. Wow, miner gates come with their own token. You have. Let's just look at some of this stuff. Okay. Ethereum Foundation announces annual funding. Next DevCon location. You got Mr. Ether. Messed with your soul like Ether. Chilling on a pile of money. Let's see what you guys say. Spending $30 million across different products in the next 12 months. 
yeah, it's pretty cool. You just start working on something. Yep. Now, when they do this, Ethereum 2.0 proof of stake, that's gonna be this is gonna be huge, guy. So you got Ethereum. They're coming with the with the DevCon. So they're gonna be looking for new developers and different people to help out with the project. So you got our boy Vitalik. Let's see what. Mole? What? I don't think I like Moloch. What's up with that? Come on, guys. What's up with Moloch? Last I checked, I thought that was some weird uh, owl that they do sacrifices to, the Bohemian Grove, but, you know, that's just me. Whatever. Let's go do that. Mean home, I see you over three and three, so don't tell me how <laughs> Aims at crowdfunding the open source video structure. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Ethereum's definitely going to be a backbone of the next internet. I'll give them that. Ethereum will form the backbone for the next internet. Yes, I believe that's true. Don't know about the name. Check some other news. Crypto wallet secures 50 million insurance for customer crypto assets. Uh, crypto securities company Curve has partnered with insurance company Munich Ray to obtain 50 million dollars in coverage, according to a Curve press release. So, what's up with crypto Curve wallets? So that's pretty cool. At least they're getting smarter, trying to back up these wallets, you know, people are getting insured. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm all for that. What else do we got going on? Ah, this guy. Hold on. So this guy, some politician, if you want to call him that. I don't even know what you would call these guys anymore. Uh... I can just call him corrupt. How about that? Okay. As the price of Bitcoin boomed, the number of incumbents of traditional finance. Uh-oh. Oh, traditional finance. Oh, we don't want that Bitcoin stuff. You know, we're going to lose all this money and we, we're not going to be able to be in charge and be the 1% anymore and, and make all the changes for everyone. So we're we're not happy. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, dude. So he's trying to bash big. I'm not even gonna say this guy's name, but there it is, right there. He doesn't even deserve that light. He said Congress should outlaw <laughs> cryptocurrencies for U.S. citizens. <laughs> That's all I gotta say to that. I look for colleagues to join with me in introducing a bill. Dude, are you joking? I think you guys got bigger problems in Cali to worry about than uh, crypto. I think you need to work on the um, third strike laws and you know, poverty and homelessness and drug abuse. So yeah, I think this guy needs to just do his job. He's overstepping his boundaries here. He goes on to represent the in entire crypto so it's like tax evasion, drug dealing, and what you have effectively forgotten to realize is that technological advancement is so much more than mentioned. Not to mention that the US dollar is used for questionable acts too. Uh oh, okay. So at that point, someone needs to reach across the table and you know, whatever that means. Crypto is the plastic gun of currency. Yeah. I don't even want... Okay, let's see what this idiot has to say. I'm going to call him that. An idiot. Uh, 
Oh, it's going to make the dollar lose, guys. Wait a minute. I thought you guys were all for equal opportunity and, you know, you guys want open uh, border policy. You want everyone to share the wealth, you know, spread the wealth. I'm all for that. But the way he's talking about, that's not going to spread the wealth. That's just going to keep it into the hands of these cronies and all these other guys, men and women that are both corrupt in Congress and House of Representatives and whatever, you, you know, all those other good places. But let's go back and see what this idiot's got to say. Come on, man. The purpose of cryptocurrency, the advantage it has over uh, uh, sovereign currency, is clearly uh, that we need to get the disempowerment of the uh, uh, United States and the rule of law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. He concluded drawing attention. Uh oh. There's, there's the man, the myth. <clears throat> I mean, what kind of person has a name like that? What if his name really was Diamond because he was born so rich and, you know, part of a banking cartel? Whatever, guys. Whatever. But this dude, nah, I don't like him. Don't like him one bit. Especially after they brought him into Congress and... <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And let him um, talk about woman in california who could barely pay her bills that is struggling because she's working at this idiot's bank and he can't even give her a raise well if she would have took some of that money and bought you know a little bit of bitcoin maybe it would have went from what about 32 let's say when she first started working at chase bank you know, somewhere around here, if she would have been able to take a couple hundred bucks here and there, you know, and buy some, maybe she could have got it sold up here, or maybe sold up here, who knows? Like I said, I, you know, it's not my place to, to go to that. Although, the why is this bullish for crypto? I don't know. We're going we're gonna to see. Maybe that pomp. Morgan Creek became one of the leading minds in the space. I like that dude. Pomp is a homie. He's he's the man. Off the chain. He's like <laughs> Such a regulatory move may boost Bitcoin. He broke down insights. Okay. He explained Sherman is scared of a world where non certain currencies are default. He noted cryptocurrencies that decentralize well everything in the US and other made obviously lose traction yeah that's the point i mean we're tired of the federal reserve backed notes to where they give the united states loans and then they give us money so by the time we get one dollar it's actually worth nothing like, come on dude come on man Anyone that participates and wants to perpetuate further that system is pretty much just evil. Let's see what see what JFK had to say about that. Let's see what, let's see what, oh, sorry about that. Let's see what let's see what uh, JFK had to say. Executive order. One 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 zero issued by JFK. June 4th, 1963. The executive order. Hmm. Plan to eliminate. This is just ridiculous. 
Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, this is that. If you guys want to look that up, but JFK touched on that in the 60s, and we know what happened after that, guys. These people don't play around about their um, control and their money and their ruling the world and the top 1% of the 1% of the 1%, you know, the ruling families, the weak class, whatever you guys want to call them. But they're just, you know, sending their orders down to this peon right here. And he's just regurgitating a bunch of uh, fecal matter out of his mouth. So, Okay. Yeah, one coin got sued. Yeah, one coin. One coin. 